Hi everyone, this is Darcy and today I'm getting back into my eye hood lifting challenge and on this video I'm going to show a full tutorial with the Foreo Bear, the Neural Laser and the Aura Lift which I will be getting back into the tutorial of how to lift your eye hoods and also using these tools which I have a whole series that is started on my channel and if you, um, we are live but if you get this video on the playback, I always leave timestamps below so you can jump anywhere in this video. The way the series goes is I first talk a little bit about the products that I'm going to be using. Then I show you guys a full tutorial and then we open to the Q&A and chat at the end. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to put it on the chat or comment below that we can get to the questions at the end of the video. And on that note, make sure to like this video if it's helpful to you and check the timestamps below for so you can move anywhere in this video because my lives are usually long but there's a lot of great info so make sure to check the timestamps if you want to jump anywhere and on that note if you like my content make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos and again if this video is helpful to you please make sure to like and also share with your friends and basically guys i had to take a break from my eye hood lifting challenge this challenge again is all about teaching guys different techniques on how to lift your eye hoods and i actually did straight on four weeks which is basically a month which i'm going to show the before and afters on this video and when i was going to enter week five i had to stop because i actually got a black eye i had a little accident with my toddler and I have a whole video talking about it too and I'm going to actually post just the tips on how I got rid of my black eye in one week because this is my eye right now and it's just it's a little over a week now but on the video when I shot it was exactly one week and it looks just like this. So as you guys can see my eye is fine now and if you want to know how to get rid of a black eye really fast in five days I'll put the link of that video on the description box below because I got a lot of great comments from you guys and also research and I was able to test all the tips and yes it worked so I'm really excited that I'm able to come back and that's why I had to stop my eye lifting challenge because when you have an injury it's always a good idea to stop all your tools because you don't want to aggravate the injury and I missed it so much but I also find this is a great opportunity to show you guys what happens when you stop your tools because again when you're using a face tool you have to continue using to get your results I reach week four which i'm going to show my week four results now i'm going to show where my eyes are right now and then we're going to go into the tutorial so basically i will show you first how we uh, let me show you my black eye really quick because then you're going to see what i'm talking about this is actually my black eye and i'll have a, again i'm going to put the link of the video there but i want to show you how my eye was able to heal basically in five days and i will have the link of that video on the description box below if you want to know how to get rid of a black eye because i am super excited that i was able to test this tip for you guys so that was my black eye and that's why i had to stop now i'm going to show you my four week results from doing this challenge which i use many different tools every week and i've been coming you know i have a whole playlist of it if you want to watch that i'm going to show you where i was before i got my my eye injury and this is my four week results where i started and at four weeks i was so happy with my eyes you guys can see they were a lot more lifted a lot more open and i was able to achieve that in four weeks using the tools that i'm going to talk about it today and also some other tools that i talk about on previous videos but what is interesting guys and that i want to point out is again i had to stop at the four week and I was going to start on the fifth week, but then I got my eye injured. So I kind of stopped kind of two weeks because I missed that week that I was supposed to start because before I started, I got injured and then another week passed. So it's kind of like almost two weeks since I have done anything on my eyes. And I also find uh, I just took a photo right before so we can start not start over but kind of repeat week five and if you are in the same situation which can happen to everybody has happened to me many times you are using some tools consistently and then for some reason either you have to travel or you get an injury or you just have to stop everything then you can kind of see what can happen and i'm a little puffy this morning as well but i find and i'm going to show you now how i am right now compared to 
a month ago. Uh, and then you guys, we can talk about this because I, I definitely want to point this out for you guys. And here you can see where I started and where I am right now. I did find that my eyelids look a little more, still they look a little more um, firm. But yes, I lost some of my lift and I'm a little puffy this morning too. So I feel like that's where I kind of like, I feel like I got a setback. But it's important to show you guys because this can happen. If you are doing some tools consistently, which now I'm going to compare how I was. <clears throat> this is where I was on week four and the photo below is where I am now. So I do feel like I got a little bit of a setback because again, I stopped everything. And I also find that, you know, having an injury kind of makes you more puffy and everything. But comparing to where I am today and where we're going to keep starting from today, that's why I want to have this video and show you because it's important to see what can happen. Um, I do feel like one of the things that I noticed the most difference is on the actual skin and, you know, the openness. O openness. <coughs> Excuse me. But the actual eyebrows, I felt like they held really well the lift. So the lift is there. But the skin itself, and I feel like because I stopped my Nera and I stopped the other, I even stopped my Aura Lift, got a little less open. But the actual lift, I feel like it's still there. So I wanted to start by showing that so that we're where we are right now. But it, it's in the morning and I'm a little puffy when I took this photo. But I want to definitely show what you can expect. So I did the four weeks, but I kind of stopped for two weeks since I was about to start my challenge again. And then I got injured and I had to stop until I completely cleared up. And this is where I am today. There's no injury anymore. Um, I have a little bit of this, but um, I mentioned on the other video, it's normal to have a little bit of the blood um, from the black eye, but it's basically gone. The injury is gone. So I feel like it's a good place to get back onto the challenge. And now I'm going to repeat week five. And that's why I had to do this disclaimer to show you where I am right now where I was and where we can get. So it's important. And that's why I like this series because it can show you what you can expect to happen if you stop your tools for a while. And I did stop basically two weeks, I think. And because um, that week I told you my son was sick, so I wasn't really using it. And then I got injured. So I kind of stopped for two weeks. Uh, so now we're going to get back on it and continue. And I'm continue showing my progress so you guys can do it with me if you are in the stage of, your, of the challenge if you're doing with me. So I'm going to start with the neural laser, which if you are familiar with the neural laser, is a laser that helps to tighten this area here, which I definitely find that it really showed a lot of great results, especially on the corner of my eyes. And sometimes photos, and the photo I took was just before this video, sometimes photos cannot show full results, but I definitely feel using the Nira, even though I stopped, I definitely feel I still have the skin that was hanging here is a lot firmer. So you can see that from the video. And I love this laser, but you do have to use for three months to really see the final results. So it's okay that I stop for two weeks and then continue. And I will do the series for at least three months because that way you can follow me along, see my progress, my before and afters, and figure out, you know, when you're using the tools where you are and not get discouraged and we can support each other and I can help you along the way. So you can always come back and watch the lives and ask all your questions so we can discuss at the end. But I find that it's really cool to do this challenge with you guys and show you what you can expect and what I would be doing behind the scenes I'm doing with you guys. So I'm excited to get back. So let's get back on it. Now let's do the tutorial. I'm going to start with the Nira laser. I, my, my skin is completely clean. I don't have any moisturizer, which I mentioned before. Do not use any moisturizer. When you use the Nira or any serums, you apply them after. So I'm going to turn off the Nira. Oh, I haven't used it for so, I haven't used it for two weeks. So it's been a while. So I, as I mentioned before, you want to make sure the laser is flush to your skin right here. And you press this button here to start. And I go, and I like to lift a little bit. When I do it, I start in the corner. Oh, that sounds, I mean, it wasn't flush to the skin. So make sure you flush the skin. Make sure you flush. And I'm on level one. And I haven't done this in a while, guys, so 
I'm excited to get back. I missed it. You can, um, at this stage, I could raise to level two. But one thing I want to mention, you guys, with the Nira, you don't really need to go too high on the levels. You can still get results on the lowest level. Oops. And this corner is good to kind of get in there. And I press really hard, but you don't have to press this hard. Just making sure it's flush to the skin. So that's all I did on that one. So now let's go to this one. And on the nearest sites, it says if you have any injuries, you know, to not use the tool. Especially, you know, I didn't have any open wounds, but... Oops, sorry, guys, I keep talking. Let me continue and then we can talk after. I'm doing three passes up, but you can do whatever is easier for you. If you have a lot of hooded lids, you can lift them more. And whenever it gets here, it'll kind of like wanna... It feels just like if you were doing mascara. I have a mirror here, so it's really important to make sure it's flush so you're not touching your eyeballs. Only this bone, and I even have a short showing this really briefly. If you want to check my short, so that way you can kind of get a reminder if you are in about to do your treatment, because I get this question a lot, and this works, but you do have to use for three months. So we will do this challenge for three months, so that way we can see the full scope of the results. So I'm so happy I'm back using the Nira. So that's all you do. And now um, I, I'm going to do the microcurrent, and then at the end I'll talk about the Aura Lift. But now I'm going to be using the Foreo Bear because that's what I was supposed to be using for week five. Honestly, if you watch this series, you kind of know my son was sick and my husband was sick. So week four, I wasn't as consistent, but I still got great results. And that's why on week five, I was going to repeat the bear. Um, and then, you know, life happens. So now I'm back to the bear. But I'm going to try to insert some more different tools for the following weeks because this series I'm trying to show different tools, microcurrent tools, different techniques in case you don't have the bear and you have a different tool. That way you can try yourself with whatever you have at home or if you like the results from the bear, you can, you know, I have tons of info on the bear. It's my favorite microcurrent. I have a whole playlist. You can watch that too. But any microcurrent tool that you have, I have different tutorials on this series so you can choose which one and see which kind of results you can get. Uh, with the techniques. So I'm going to use the bear because it's super simple and easy and very powerful. Um, again, I have a whole review of the bear, but just a quick recap. The bear has two different modalities. He uses T-sonic pulsations as well as microcurrent, which really helps, I find, to give the best lift because the T-sonic pulsations relax the muscle and the bear lift with the microcurrent. So I really like it. It's one of my favorite because it's so quick. And I've mentioned before, I can do it with my eyes closed. So I'm going to do it here. Oh yeah, the Nira turns off by itself. That was the noise. But you can also press and hold to turn it off. So I'm going to start with this eye here. And I've mentioned to include the forehead. Because when you lift your forehead, you're also lifting your eyes. So I include the forehead with all of my eye hood lifting because it's a very important muscle to also lift. And the forehead muscle, this muscle actually goes all the way to the back, so you can actually do a head massage to even help relax even more. If you like to do that, that can actually help. So I'm going to start with that. And uh, what I was going to say, yeah, I got a comment, which I'm going to just comment right now, about um, the bear, you know, the strength of the bear I use on level five. But ideally, you want to use on level three because especially in the eye area, it's very delicate, especially if you're new to microcurrent. You don't want to put it too high. But the true test to see if you're using microcurrent too high is that when you're doing microcurrent, if you feel any twitching, that means you are too high. And I got some comments before like, oh, I feel some twitching when I'm using the bear. That means you are in too high of a level lower the level. So if you are in level three, lower to level two, see if you have any twitching, if you still have twitching, level one, because a lot of times you need your muscles to get used to the current. And it doesn't mean you're going to be in level one forever. You can just let your muscles adapt and then raise the volume. And then I even had some people talking about other tools that they were using on level one and still getting twitch. Because a lot of times, sometimes your muscle can be 
not used to the current. And if that is the case, and if you get Twitch even on level one, you can start just doing your forehead, which I'm going to show you now. And that is with any microcurrent tool. If you are still having twitches on the eye area, and that's a very good tip for you guys, and um, answer the person that messaged me. You can start just doing your forehead to get this eye area used to the current, because the forehead, you probably will not feel any twitch. I'm not feeling any twitch right now, but just in case, because it is important when you use a microcurrent to not have twitch, to not actually feel anything. Um, so you can just start with your forehead and you can do holds, and that will help this whole area to get used to the current. And that is only in the case that even if you are in level one getting a twitch, you can just start with the forehead. That will also lift your eyes. And let me just stop really quick to continue. And then you kind of use it for a couple of days and then try in, you know, to do the eye. And if you still feel twitching, do more of the forehead. That way you're getting the current used to. But if you don't feel any twitching, the best way to know what current is best for you is to start and then if you feel twitching lower because ems which i talk about i have a whole video doing the comparison of ems and microcurrent ems is a stronger microcurrent that is okay to have twitching because it actually goes into the muscle and makes the muscle twitch to lift but you should never have twitch in the eye area and that's why i always talk about ems better for bigger areas so if you're using ems which is a stronger different type of current of microcurrent and you do it on the jaw and you have twitching it's okay because EMS modality is known for twitching, but the microcurrent does never twitch, should never feel strong, especially in the eye area, which I even talk about it. I don't really recommend EMS for the eye area because I find it too strong. So that's where something too important to mention because a lot of people find that microcurrent, like I'm not feeling anything. That is a good thing because with microcurrent, less is more. You want to have your muscle adapt. A long time ago, I used a very strong microcurrent and was even on level one was twitching and then I found that my eye just looked tired because you can get some muscle fatigue. So don't feel like you have to feel the microcurrent to work. It's quite the opposite. Microcurrent is a gentler current that helps to lift your muscle, helps to increase ATP. So, you know, it's very important to address that. I got this question a lot on, uh, this week. So that's why I want to address in this video. So now I'm going to go and do the underneath the eye. And on this part, I do two different movements, which I talk about on the week before but with the the bear i just find that i kind of do them you know freely and you can do longer if you like but usually i do the bear turns off i think up two two minutes and a half i do basically until it turns it off in one eye and then i do until it turns it off on the other eye and that's sort of what i do for this challenge so now let's get started so you can start first going underneath her brow lift and hold to like five seconds you can do that Lift and hold. And lift and hold. And this is my favorite because you go from the corner here and that's why you make sure you have uh, the gel on the forehead. Go into the corner of the eyebrow. Lift, hook, lift and hold. Then you slide to the middle of the eyebrow. Lift and hold. And then slide to the beginning of the eyebrow. Lift and hold. Again. And I alternate between the two movements until the bear turns off. And that's basically what I do. Because as I mentioned, since I'm using the bear, I kind of can do it with my eyes closed. So sometimes even if I'm not in the mirror, I can do this movement. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then <coughs> I just alternate between the two. But this is the movement and you can just do it according to your preference and I usually alternate. But my favorite is this one. I love this movement. I feel like it really lifts the eye. And if you're uh, logging in right now, um, you, you're watching the re if you watch the replay, I will have timestamps below so you can go to different tutorials that if you missed anything. I will have a playback on and once this video is done, I always put the timestamps below so that way you guys can go to different tutorials or go to different part of the video because the lives are usually long because I talk and I have a lot of uh, information, but I always put the info 
on the description. That way you can just move around if you just want to see the tutorial, if you just want to look at the Q&A. And see how with the bear, it's just like you get the lift right away. And that is with any microcurrent usually. But I find that the T-Sonic pulsation really gives a nice lift and also helps to depuff. So that is one eye. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. And make sure to um, put a questions on the chat and I'm gonna go into the chat as soon as I'm done with the tutorial. And I'm also planning some other lives soon, guys, cause I really enjoy doing this live with you guys and getting to answer all your questions. I also had this idea of doing a Q and A live with just answering your questions as well once a week because I get so many great questions and a lot of times I try my best to answer them as quick as possible, but sometimes I can't answer all of them or some of them are so long that it requires a demonstration. So I had this idea, let me know if you like that. Cause then if you ask me the questions during the week, I will show your comments and answer the question on a live once a week. That way I can show the techniques and if the person doesn't understand the answer, I try to answer them quite long actually. Um, when I do the answering the questions, I, I usually like to take my time answering your questions because you guys have great questions. And a lot of your questions are questions that other people may have. And um, so I think I'm going to do that too. Once a week, have a live with a lot of the great questions you guys ask me through the week. In that way, you know, I can send you the link to the answer <laughs> in case I don't have time to type it all. Because I like to take my time answer you guys because... I know it can be confusing and there's so many tools in the market and so many different modalities and uh, and it's important to, you know, share my knowledge with you guys and motivate you guys because as you saw, like if you stop the tool for a while, which I stopped for two weeks, you may lose some of the results, but I, I, I still feel it's important to continue because consistency is the key and I'm so happy I'm back doing my lives and you guys keep me motivated and I'm hoping and motivating you guys to use the tools that you have, combine them for better results, and um, that way we can keep motivating each other. As you guys saw, I kind of alternate between this one and the other one. And hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm going to use the oil lift after. I'm going to talk a little bit about the oil lift after I do this rare tutorial. So it's hanging for it because one thing I also noticed is that doing the oil lift while I'm doing microcurrent has really battered my results. But as I mentioned on the previous lives, any of the tools that I'm using, I have full reviews with before and afters. From using the tool alone so if you just want to use the rare lift or just want to use the bear or just want to use the nira you can go to that video and i always leave them on the description box below and see which kind of results you get by using just one tool by itself and you can do that too i'm combining them because i already have videos of the tools by themselves so combining them i can show which kind of results you can get by combining them and i get that question a lot and combining tools guys is actually something really important when you get older um and i'm getting some questions like that too which i'll briefly address here because when i talk about the oil lift i want to address these questions that um and oh the gel that i'm using is from medicube is the HR H Booster Gel. I also get questions all the time. I have the link on the description box below if you wanna get it. This is my favorite conductivity gel and you do not have to wash it off. You can just, you know, and you guys can see what I'm talking is gonna dry out. I'm just gonna, so my eyebrows don't look crazy and massage it and is a treatment on its own, especially since you, I'm using the Nira. I find that the Nira can be a little drying. So I like, that this gel is hydrating, moisturizing with great ingredients that get pushed into your skin through the microcurrent. So yeah, so you can see my eyes are instantly opened with continued use and with the bear you use daily um, and for, you know, the few months you start if you are using the bear for this challenge and then you can go a couple of times a week. And as I mentioned on, if you're just logging in right now, on week four, I wasn't really using as consistent and then week five, I got injured. So I haven't really used it in a little over you know, two weeks, uh, give or take, but I still feel like my eyebrows still were lifted 
um, this area here. I wasn't using anything until this video. So, you know, check out the before and after so you can see the progress and where I am right now. When I want, I want to talk a little bit about the overlift because they'll have a sale coming up soon too. And I'll leave that info in the description box below because I get a lot of questions about the overlift too. And they say, oh my God, it's just a piece of plastic. This is more than a piece of plastic. And especially if you're somebody older, what I mean like 45 plus or even on your 40s, this is a very unique tool that you can combine with any other tool because it's super easy to combine and can improve the results of microcurrent and other things because guys as we get older we lose a lot of collagen and collagen is what kind of keeps everything plumped and up so as we get older three things happen we lose collagen we lose fat pads you know the fat pads on our face and we also uh as you know, it does help the muscle too, but the bone shift is the most important thing that the aura lift is the only one that can address that. And that is when I'm talking about somebody older. Uh, it's not going to change your face shape. And I have a video talking about the aura lift when I show my four month results that actually my face shape went back to what it was 10 years ago. And it's important to mention that, especially when you talk about microcurrent, because if you are somebody older, and I got some comments this week about that too. That's why I want to address on this live. If you are somebody older and you're using microcurrent and you're not seeing results on your jowls or you're not seeing as many results, is because when you get older, you have a lot of things you need to address and microcurrent only addresses the muscle. So even if you lift the muscle with microcurrent, if you have bone loss, fat loss, uh, the, it'll be harder to address the jowls because this part here, as you know, Next time I'll have a graph so you can understand. And I want to do a whole video about it because I get so many questions about this. And microcurrent can help you for sure. But if you're using microcurrent and you're finding that you're not getting as much results and you're an older person, definitely highly suggest you combine with the Aura Lift because by shifting the actual bone structure back to what it was, microcurrent addresses the muscle. So it will help to lift it. Because if you lost collagen, again, aging... You have to combine sometimes certain tools when you're much older. Each person is different. You know, there's some people under 40s that just the oil lift and the microcurrent might really do it fine. But if you get in your 60s and you have a lot of collagen lost, you have a lot of skin and you might consider adding radio frequency. But that is not for everybody. That's why I say use one tool first, try it at least three months and then see the results you can get and then try to incorporate other tools according to your needs and age. And I get this question a lot for people that are in their 60s, they're having jowls and they're using microcurrent, but they're not seeing as many results. And that can be because of muscle, not just muscle loss, and not, not just muscle, sorry, not just the muscle sagging and the collagen, but also the muscle loss that we have and the shift, you know, and that, you know, this addresses the muscle, but if the underneath is missing the pads and the muscle and the bones, then it's going to be hard to get the results by just lifting the muscle. You need extra help and, you know, and there's a many amazing tools that you can use at home that will give you those results for sure. But I want to mention that because a lot of people have questions about what does the Aura Lift do? Uh, the Aura Lift helps, you know, with the bone, with the lifting as well, and does help with the jowls. But I've, I find that using the Aura Lift with the microcurrent helps better with the jowls because the jowls can also mean the collagen lost and also if you lift your cheeks this lifts up but again if you don't have that much bone on your cheeks then even lifting this up may not fully address the jowls so there are a lift combining microcurrent if you're older might be the best thing but if you're younger honestly just microcurrent or just or lift will give you results as well and watch the video so you can kind of see which kind of results you can get. Sorry, I was a little long on this explanation, but it's important because this is a tool that no other tool will do that to you. And just your lift will give you a lift. But if you are heavy signs of aging and you want to really see more results in microcurrent, you may want to incorporate or lift or radio frequency as well, which helps to plump the collagen. Uh, but radio frequency will not address the bone. Um, the oral lift will help address the bone shifts, but it will not change your face. Watch my video. You can see my face shape went back. And I did stop the oral lift for two weeks. I just got it back. I did it this morning. And I'll also do a video showing the fitting because when you get the oral lift, it comes as one block. And you do the fitting like if you were doing a 
mouth guard. It's super simple, but I know I get a lot of comments that can be intimidating. I will do a fitting video for you guys as well. But the actual oil lift company, if you reach out to them, they can do a free zoom to help you with the fitting as well. <coughs> and they do have, oh my God, I forgot the water again. I have this giant jug here. So I'm just going to take a sip because I get dry. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to incorporate more water in my life and I got this on Amazon. If you like it, just let me know and I'll put the link. It is really cool because it gives you like the goals. Anyway, water is really important, especially when you're talking. But in general, I'm trying to drink more water. So going back to it, you can actually reach out to them and they will do a Zoom for you if you have questions about the fitting. Uh, but I will do a fitting video as well. And uh, I get this question so many times. But it's not that hard. It's I know it can be intimidating, but it's super simple. And even if you make mistake, you can refit it as well. So I got some people that email me. I bought the lift. I'm scared of the fitting. I haven't used it. And I know it can be intimidating. So you can either wait for my video, which I will definitely do for you for sure. I have a tips video on the oil lift as well. So make sure you check that out. But they also have a video on the fitting online. And I will leave that video on, on the description box as well in case you will want to do the fitting before I do the video. And check out the tips video as well because I give tips about fitting this R lift. And it's super simple, but I know it can be intimidating if you've never done it because people feel like they're going to ruin the... the the oil lift but you won't you can do the fitting for any reason you made a mistake you can refit it so it's really really don't don't feel so intimidated but i understand so i'm that's why i'm doing a video and you can always reach out to them they're actually a family company which is really cool like whenever i get emails i get emailed by the actual doctor that created the oil lift which is a dentist dr mohindra so they're very nice people and very approachable and again they can do the zoom for you guys for free but if you want to have one year support which they do offer through estheticians that actually can accompany you and give you tips on usage and everything you can have that they're, they're extra but um you don't have to have that if you don't want to they can do the fitting for you included with the oil lift you know so it's a free you just have to reach out to them but i would definitely do that video because i know i get a lot of comments and i know it can be confusing so i'm right there i will help you out as best as I can but this is such a unique tool and I guess because it can be a little intimidating on the fitting and that you have to use in your mouth I think a lot of people get confused with what it does but honestly there's nothing that can that do this so it's very very unique was created by a dentist helps with lifting shifting your bones back to the position that they were uh, by creating this extra space here on your mouth helps with uh, TMJ which that's one of the reason I'm back on it because it really helps with the grinding, with the face pain. It was actually created for face pain. Uh, and then he realizes that people were actually looking um, a lot youthful. There's a lot of research on it. Uh, it's been ar around for over 20 years. So it's, it's a proven technology. It's just very simple. It looks simple, but it's a medical device, basically. And it does work. I'm, I'm raving about it because... I definitely feel like combining this can really help a lot of people that are older and they may be thinking about, you know, getting a surgery. Try the oral lift first because if you see their before and afters from older people, it is truly a oral facelift and there's nothing like that in the market. Especially if you have other tools, combining them, you can get even better results. But again, to each his own. Uh, make sure you watch my videos to see if you're comfortable with it. But it's very simple. I actually did a right before this video. You just put it in your mouth and I'll just show briefly. And then you do this O face. Uh, the whole point is not to touch this yoga box here. And uh, and then you just keep that mouth. You Every person is different. I have very, very strong TMJ. So for me, especially when I start, I cannot do over five minutes. Uh, meaning when I'm over five minutes, I get trembling on my lips and then I just get tired and then I have to take it off. And it's okay. Even if you can only do one minute, you start one minute in the morning, you know, see according to how you feel, and then one minute in the evening, and then you can increase every week, every third day, you know, like if I did it today, I'm going to count three, and I do on the third day. And it has an app that you can kind of do reminders. Take before and afters is very important because you will definitely see amazing results if you do the before and afters because a lot of the changes can be subtle. But people will notice when I was using the oil lift for the first time, my husband would come back to like in the morning and say, are you wearing makeup? Because it does help your skin too. And also the puffiness. When I'm using consistently, I find that I wake up not so puffy, which is really interesting. But again, I stopped again for two weeks, so I'm not being as consistent. But 
I'm back on it and we can continue talking about it and answer your questions, but definitely check it out. Um, so we'll put it inside your mouth and then do this position. I'm going to briefly demonstrate. Okay. And that's it. You use this twice a day, every third day, and start slowly and build your way up. Do not feel like you, you can build up to one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening. I never got to that. Uh, with the results you saw from my four month usage, which also was not consistent, but I still got results. Um, I was only using for like tops 12, 15 minutes, I think the most I could get. Um, I could never even get to half an hour. Now I find that it's getting more comfortable. So I'm going to start increasing and see if this time I can have it for longer. But you don't have to have it for longer to get results. And that's what is really cool. It really works with your own body structure, your own. You don't have to feel pain. Quite the opposite. Again, if you feel trembling on your lips, if you feel body or any pain, you should stop. And, you know, they on the app, you can report that and they tell you what to do. And then the next time you will... Um, cut down your treatment and you just have to adapt and grow the same thing i was talking about microcurrent more is not better uh because if you have any pain and i did that in the beginning just a side note i kind of tried to have it for too long and i had a migraine uh, and then the next time i cut it down and i didn't have them anymore so it's important to follow the instructions that they tell you and you will get results even if you don't have it for an hour on. Anyway, I'm raving about it because I do love it. I'm so happy I'm back using it. And I will do as many tips for you guys as you as I can if you got the relief so you can use it. Because I get messages all the time. I bought it, but I'm not using it. I don't know how to fit. And I don't know how to use. I'm here to help you guys. And you can always reach out to the Oralift people as well. They're very nice people. It's a family business. And um, as I said, like when I get emails from them, I get from the actual owner of the company. And that's very unusual. Like you don't see that with other companies, you know, and they're really a nice, nice people. And they're, you know, really passionate about this project product. And he created this to help people. So it's really cool. I really love them. And there will be a sale coming up soon. Once I get that info, I will put that in the description box below. And whenever they have sales, when you use my discount code, which I do have, you can get extra discount on top of the sale. So it's a really good thing to Watch out for the sales if you're interested on it. So I'll leave that on the description box below. And that's my, <laughs> that's the basically the tutorial for this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. I love you guys so much. And now I'm going to go into the chat to hang out with you guys, which is my favorite part of the lives. So I'm excited to be here and let's go back to the lives now. Um, let me organize here. And I might have to put my glasses. <laughs> Because, guys, I mentioned this on the other live. These are my glasses. I'm going to use it this time because, hi, <sighs> yeah, it's much better when I use my glasses. Sometimes I can't understand, and I, I will put it really quick size. So bear with me there. There you go. That's my glasses. Oh, much better. <laughs> anyway, um, keep it moving. Hi, Darcy. Looking forward to your live. Yay. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I missed the live next week and I want to include more lives for sure. And let me know, guys, in the comments, if you want to do the live that I talked about, that is a live with um, answering the questions of the week, because I get great questions and I find that it can be useful to um, get your questions and answer with, you know, in a video with all the other questions for the week that way if you if you got my response and it's not so clear you can actually see uh, my response as well and hi michelle so glad i'm i'm on youtube now i'm seeing this i missed the near demo thank you so much michelle if you missed the near demo i always have timestamps below so you can jump back to the near demo and i also have this whole series where you can watch all the demos you know and i've been using the near since week one and I talk about tips on it through the videos. So you can always go back and check the playlist too. But always check the description that I always have said near a demo. And then you can click on the timestamps and then we'll jump right there on the video. So you can, even if you watch this as a replay, you can watch just the demos or just the Q&A. And the Q&As are great because I get a lot of great questions for you guys. So I really love it. <clears throat> Let me see. Hi, Sherry. Sherry said, that's exactly happening to me. I keep trying different microcurrent devices. I do have the Lift, which I need to use more often, more consistent. Yes, Sherry. And you look beautiful, by the way. I think I, I've commented that before. Um, whatever you're doing, it is working. I know sometimes we can be hard on ourselves and feel like we're not getting 
as much results, but you look amazing. And yes, if you have the oil lift, and that's why I'm going to talk more about the oil lift because a lot of you guys got the oil lift. And even me, when I was using the oil lift, I saw amazing results. And then, you know, you use every four months and then you stop for four months and then you use it again. Uh, on my oil lift a video that I did uh, with the, let me take the glasses because you can get the, I can see a little more today because <laughs> um, I'm getting a glare. Anyway, as I was saying, the Aura Lift one I used the last time in one of my four month uh, results video, I kind of use it for three months, two and a half, because I had a lot of health stuff going on and I wasn't using as consistent, but I still saw results. But this time I really want to use more consistent because I know I can get even better results with consistency. But even though using as consistent, I got those results. If you look at my four month result, I thought it was pretty amazing. And they lasted. And the most important thing, I stopped my pain. Like my pain, waking up, I grind at night so whenever i'm using it i don't wake up with with jaw pain and headaches so it's really good for different things besides anti-aging and the posture too which i'm getting a hump from computers and looking up and this can help with that too so definitely share it if you have it use it and reach out to me if you have any specific questions that you know why you're not using it or if you're feeling something i would definitely help you out because it it works amazing especially if you combine with microcurrent and if you're an older person you not seeing as many, much results, it, it will change the game. This is really amazing combination. And I'm so happy I'm back on the oil lift and I'm so excited to help you guys so you can use it because it's not just you. I get so many messages like, I'm not using it. Use it and you will be so surprised and so happy with your results because it does work. What device do you recommend for fat loss? Fat loss is very, very tricky. And that's why... I find that um, people get really scared with certain procedures and people ask me all the time if radio frequency cause fat loss and I have a lot of great radio frequency devices on my channel that I reviewed. So make sure you check those out, either the Nua or the Nebulift or even the, the Lumo, which has radio frequency and other things really help not with the fat loss per se, but to get the collagen back. So I also have a whole video, sh um, uh, Sherry, about collagen loss, especially as we reach premenopausal years, which I am right now, or menopausal years, we lose 30% right away. And that is a huge dip on our collagen. And on the collagen video, I am actually taking collagen now. In collagen, it helps. Taking collagen really helps not just, you know, not going to replace fully, but it helps if you're using, if you're taking collagen internally and also using something to improve the collagen production, you will see more plumpiness and that will help to feel that your face is a little more full. But fat loss itself, once you lose it, is really hard to get back. But radio frequency is a thing, is something that you can use to help get the fullness back. It's not going to be the fat, but the collagen will plump everything up. And you can see on my 30 day uh, NUA results, how I have a lot of like, I had a lot of, which I didn't even know, I had a lot of uh, laxity here and wrinkles here. And as I started using the near, um, the NUA, you can get up to four years of collagen back. This got filled up. My cheeks were filled up. Even my under eye, which I'm, you know, getting back again now, uh, get got hollow, more hollow. So when you get collagen, especially your cheeks get more plumped, you f almost looks like you got fillers, but you, you don't, it's not really fat getting back, but the collagen, which also causes a sunken look and uh, the zip which I haven't tried a setting on the zip has a plumping setting which I'll try to do a tutorial and do a before and after to see that because right now I'm back using microcurrent and and these tools but I find that when you again plump the collagen this will look filled up and you feel more plump so definitely try a tool like a radio frequency to get the collagen back and try to take an internal collagen as well, and you will see more improvement. But fat loss itself is really hard to get back, and that's why um, I highly caution you guys. A lot of uh, there's a lot of very cheap radio frequency online on Amazon and on Alibaba uh, from China, and they're too strong for home use, and some of them can cause fat loss. But the devices I have reviewed have not, and and um, just want to warn you guys, because there's so many radio frequency devices, but you have to, yes, you have to be, be careful with radio frequency because there's some frequencies of radio frequency that are specifically for fat loss and body, and you should never use on the face. So just be careful, watch reviews, read the comments, but the ones that I have used have not caused any fat loss 
and I definitely felt like the results were lasting and um, and I want to get back on it. But right now I'm testing this for you guys, but I want to get back on radio frequency because I find that it really helps. The Aura Lift, Sherry, also use the Aura Lift because what happens, what I mentioned, is that the Aura Lift helps shift the muscle, I mean the bone and the muscle attached. So you will feel more plumpiness on your cheeks with the Aura Lift as well. It will not get back the fat because once you lose it, is gone and is part of aging to lose the fat pads, but this will help to plump it up. Hmm. Actually, on that note, I saw I haven't tested. It is quite expensive. There's a supplement uh, by os uh, Osmosis. Was it Osmosis? Yes. There's a supplement by Osmosis, which is a company that does a lot of um, anti-aging, you know, creams and a lot of research. And that one. Um, there's actually something you can take orally and it's supposed to um, actually address the fat pads. But I would suggest first try the oral lift and radio frequency because the actual, that's why I haven't purchased. It's really expensive. It's like 180 a bottle and you have to take seven. <laughs> so for that price, you might as well get fillers. I mean, I wouldn't suggest to get fillers because one thing I'm scared of fillers I never got is that it doesn't really replace the fat. It just makes you look more like swollen. So I find that radio frequency with microcurrent and in, in the oral lift will give you more natural results uh, because especially if you see those celebrities right now, fillers as you, you know, I'm reading more about it because I see like Madonna and all those celebrities that I love have so much money, but they just pumping things on their face and it's just not looking like themselves. So I find that it's much better to use a device that way you can look like yourself, a better version of yourself, more plump and youthful. But obviously, you're not going to look 25. I mean, I feel like our goal is to look the best at our age, but nobody's going to ever look 25. And if you look at the celebrities, they, with all the money in the world and all the procedures, they still cannot look 25. So we have to also be realistic. But definitely, radio frequency, increasing your collagen will help the plumpiness. Try the oral lift because again, shifting the bone will give you more of a full look on this area too, because it will go back to the more youthful position. And if you want to check out the osmosis, I would say definitely try the things you have at home first, Sherry. And then once you get to a point, you can try the osmosis because that one had really good reviews. People had great results, but I find so expensive that might as well invest on a tool that will give you those results as well. Um, but fat loss, that's the only one I know that is actually scientifically proven to get back on the fat pads and, um, but it's pretty expensive. You have to take at least seven bottles of it. I'll try to find the name of it and I'll put it in the description box below. I just read about it and I thought about getting it, but I have so many great devices that I thought like, no, it's too expensive to keep up, but people had great results, but you have to have at least seven, um, bottles and it does help improve the digestion as well so if you are somebody with that suffer from digestion it's really it's a supplement that you take orally is like um like an oil but it does help with fat pads that's the only thing i know that helps with fat pads besides you know actually getting a procedure so hopefully i answer your question and i'll put some of the info in the description after the video so you can research further but definitely use the oral lift with this first since you already have it and Use it for at least three, you know, the four months and then see where you are at that point. And then maybe consider taking a little bit of that other thing to supplement already the plump list that you will have for sure. Sherry, for sure. You'll get it. Great video. Love how in-depth you are. Never lift or the Medicube, not the microcurrent one, but the fat loss one. Let me see. Great video. Sorry, Sherry. I'm going to put my glasses back on. <laughs> oh, boy. It's, uh, let me see here. Love how in-depth you are. Thank you so much. I love this live so I can go really deep with you guys and answer all your questions. Nebulift or the Medicube? Not the microcurrent one, but the fat loss one. Oh, you know what? I think I know what you're talking about. I actually just got sent those Sarah. Oh, where is it? I, I haven't charged it yet. I just got sent the Medicube of Sarah, which is supposed to help with also collagen, but is not radio frequency and is not microcurrent. Those Sarah is actually an ultrasound with, um, oh my God. Um, again, I just got it. So I, I'm not going to talk about it right now because I haven't, you know, you use it on the, all the research, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Medicube one for at least a month, take my before and afters, and I'll do a full dedicated video, how I've been doing with the other Medicube products, because so far the Medicube product, products have blown my mind. And whenever I, again, whenever I do a device or a test, I stop the other devices and I see a huge difference when I was using it. If you look at my, when I did the, the, 
the Medicube video, you know, I stopped the EMS on my, my jaw, which I want to do a challenge actually. So that way you guys can do it with me because I want to get back on it. Uh, with the EMS shot, you help um, with the, a little bit to take the fat in here and doesn't take the fat, but it helps tighten this area. Since I gained some weight, I'm going to do build up the collagen and plump everything up so i will test that out for you guys and have a full before and after and then i can compare to how that compares to radio frequency but that is not radio frequency is uh, ultrasound with high frequency i think it's actually usera is actually a procedure that you can get done in an office but this one is a home version of it and with all medicare products they have a lot of research if you go to the website they have scientific research they have photos before and after from actual their their um trials and it's really amazing so i'm excited to try that out especially since i kind of stop a lot of things and it's a different thing it's not microcurrent is something that will help with the collagen and microcurrent does not help with collagen it helps with the muscle and again as we get older we may need to combine things because we start having a combination of things as i mentioned fat loss collagen loss bone loss and um, collagen definitely will help plump everything up and give you that um impression that you got the fat back but it's very hard to get the fat back unfortunately um so I'll definitely check that out sherry and i'll have a review i'm going to start using i'm going to charge it today and then i can talk more about it but um uh, is different than radio frequency uh sherry the aura lift doesn't hurt me at all so i'm going to use the second size up yeah i never got to the second size or lift come in two sizes this is the three um millimeters and there's the five millimeter honestly i never got to the five millimeter all my results were with the three so it's really up to you if you feel like you can go to the size up i find that as i mentioned the wear lift is not so much the size and how long you use it but the consistency as long as you use it for four months your bones and everything will adapt to where it should be and um so you know definitely if you feel like you're ready to go to the size up do the size up but you don't have to really um you get results of the three and uh, uh, millimeters um but again it's up to each person but definitely try and then see how you feel and make sure you do it every third day and do it in the morning and in the evening and if you feel any trembling sherry or any headaches or any discomfort cut down on the time or go back to the three because you do not want to overdo it you know as i mentioned more is not better with the oil lift but definitely uh, check that out i just bought the zip but don't feel any current sherry the oil lift uses microcurrent and nanocurrent and as i mentioned before microcurrent you actually should not feel i mean the bear you feel because it has the t-sonic pulsation and i've had some comments that people are feeling zaps of the bear i haven't experienced that yet but i'm not using it with the app so i'm going to do another bear video just as a side note to kind of investigate that further because the bear has anti-shock features so what you feel with the bear is just the t-sonic pulsations you should never feel a zap and i'm not feeling any zaps anyway besides the point microcurrent you should not feel it because it's a gentle current that mimics your own body current and it, you know it helps to lift the muscle ems is a higher you know is a different type of current that is stronger and actually you know it goes deep into the muscle and actually signals your brain to do a twitch that's why you feel ems a lot stronger and that's why it's recommended for bigger bodies um for bigger muscle areas like the jaw this under you know the, the neck and the body so that's why you don't feel the microcurrent so with the zip you should not feel anything the zip has different settings which make sure you you message me share if you have specific with um i actually going to do an app uh they're actually going to have a new update that's why i'm waiting a little bit uh, on the app they have updates every year every so and they add new features and new things and i did already shot a video talking about many different uh of the zip um app treatments because each treatment honestly uses different type of current use the nano current as well as the microcurrent that helps address skin issues like you know sagginess as well as wrinkles as well as dark spots acne and since you have the oil lift try the plump setting because there's a setting for plumping the skin and that should help with plumping the collagen and give you more of a fuller face look which I want to try that out. I haven't tried, but it does have. So the oil lift, I mean, sorry, the zip is kind of like a many, many treatments into one using different microcurrents, different waveforms to address different things, as opposed to the bear that only has one type of microcurrent and the T-Sonic. So the zip is more advanced for that reason, but you should never really feel it. If you use the zip on the 
instant lift, instant gratification, then you will feel it because you use a lot a stronger current. But I prefer the other settings of the zip because they're more gentle, but they're more powerful. If you see, uh, if you saw my, um, I think it was the um, filter finish setting. Oh my God, it, it just so helped with the wrinkles and the bear will not do that. So that shows the power of the zip. So if you have the zip, take advantage of all the settings that it has for different things, especially try the plumping one, Sherry, and let me know because I would do that one too. But the filter finish was amazing for, you know, basically giving me a filter finish. If you watched that video, the before and after it was amazing. And I even showed the next day my results and uh, I unfortunately stopped using it, but I'm going to go back on it. And the zip also has a setting for dark spots. And again, it does that by using different currents as well as different waveforms. And nano current is something that addresses the skin, but you should never really fill the zip. Just make sure, Sherry, that you are using with either the zip gel or pure glycerin and that the lights of the zip are on. Because if the lights of the zip are not on, then you're not filling because it's not working. So make sure you watch for the lights as well, because if they're not on, uh, the zip has a setting that can test if you have conductivity, then the conductivity is not working. But if the lights of the zip are lighting and they're on and you're using the glycerin, pure glycerin or the zip gel, you will see results that are cumulative and you will not feel anything. Ideally, that's what you want. You do not want to feel, but it will give you results, especially as you continue using it. It really helps with the quality of your skin and uh hi hello dog thanks for being here uh hi sarah from denmark love your channel thank you so much oh my god i had so many friends from denmark i always wanted to go there nice to nice to see you here thank you so much for being here i love having the you know the live so i can hang out with you guys it's really cool I actually bought the Medicube Deep Shot. Use both ultrasound and radio frequency. What is the difference between radio frequency and high frequency? <coughs> so, radio frequency is literally a frequency that goes deep into the skin and heats up the skin layer. And it addresses different things like collagen production. The high frequency goes even deeper, which is interesting because the high frequency actually goes beyond the fat layer to improve the college production, but also do a lift. So I will definitely do the 30 days with the, the Medicube Deep Shot. No, Deep Shot, is that the one? The Sarah, is that the Deep Shot? Hmm, hold on. Because now I'm, uh, I can't remember because they have so many. I try the EMS Shot and I also try, I also used the, um, yeah, I think the Deep Shot is the Sarah, right? C can you? comment if it's the because I just got it. I haven't even charged it, but I will test it out. So radio frequency heats up with basically a frequency that goes deep into the skin and it heats up the skin layer to cause the collagen production. The high frequency goes deeper and actually helps to lift as well as improve collagen production. But I haven't tried high frequency. It's my first time trying high frequency which is actually the Ocera modality. So I'm excited to see how it compares truly by using it. And I'll definitely report back, back to you guys because I love radio frequency. It has worked for me amazing. If you see my other videos and I want to use the Ocera and see which kind of results I can get. But what I've seen from the before and afters, the Ocera helps with lift as well as plumpiness with the collagen. And I've also saw comments of people even saying the texture of the skin got better. So... High frequency is a new modality that I have not used before, so I'm excited to try out, and I'll definitely be able to compare better for you guys with my before and afters, and I'll probably talk about it on the dedicated video, how it compares to radio frequency, but that device is not radio frequency, it's high frequency with ultrasonic, with ultrasound. And there's just a different modality that addresses different things on the skin, but it also heats up, which I think the ultrasound is the part that heats up. I will talk more when I'm able to research that, device more because I love researching and going deep into it and also using it so then I can give you my true thoughts of using it and how it compares. So definitely keep an eye on my channel for that because I will um, do the comparison and see how it compares to radio frequency uh, by itself, you know, with the combination. But yeah, so that is the device and I'm so excited to do that. I'm actually going to charge it today so I can start using it and uh, and compare for you guys because that one also addresses 
uh, wrinkles, and I mentioned texture. And compared to the other Medicube device that I've tried, I'm super excited because they gave me so amazing results. And also at some point down the line when, when I'm done testing those Sera, I want to see how can I combine the Medicube devices because I love you know, the, the EMS shot and I love the air shot device also that helped with my pores so much. I haven't used it because I'm doing different things, but I want to also combine them down the line and see how I can use them together because they're so powerful. But I'm excited to try the Sarah and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. It sounds awesome. If the high frequency goes deeper, maybe it's more effective. Hope so. Is the next device I want to buy. Yes, the high frequency go a lot deeper and that's why a lot of people are, you know, concern online saying, oh, does this uh, disrupt the fat layer? But according to Medicube, I even asked the question, it shouldn't. But the, rate, the high frequency go deeper is again, is a higher frequency that goes deeper and helps with the lifting too. But I will be able to speak better once I'm using, and I'm a very honest channel, I'll tell you what you can expect, especially since I use radio frequency before with great results. I'm curious to know which kind of different results I could get with those Sera, which is actually a procedure. If you go, you can get in a doctor office, but they made it in a way that you can do it from home. So I'm excited to try it out. Um, I get questions all the time about device, that device, but I'll be able to answer once I'm, um, I'm using it by itself. <coughs> Let me get some more water <clears throat> really quick. <clears throat> if you guys have any, any other questions, make sure to comment below. And thank you so much, guys, for being here. I'm going to get back to doing the lives every week. And I'm going to add more lives, especially answering your questions. If you have questions through the week, I'm going to try to get your questions and answer in the live probably once a week. I'm going to figure out which day. But I love doing this live, you guys, answering your questions, hanging out with you guys, and showing my progress so we can support each other and, you know, motivate each other because you guys are awesome my motivation. So I love you guys so much. I really hope that <clears throat> sorry i always forget to drink water i got this giant jug here but i didn't even drink it i have to get back on it water is also really important for everything guys and i do not drink enough so for sure i will oh soon you're gonna have the air shot i'm so excited i look forward to trying the deep shot yeah the air shot is really really unique device and uh i'm if you look at my video, look at my skin when I was using consistently and my skin was flawless. It really helped to push a lot of the great ingredients from the Medicube skincare line. By the way, Medicube skincare line is like amazing and pretty affordable. Um, I have a whole video talking about that. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description box below. Uh, the title of the video is skincare that actually works. And Everything I try from Medicube from the skincare line really works. And when I was doing the air shot review, if you want to watch that review, I was using with the Medicube products. And my skin on that video, like when I watched, I was like, I want to get back to that. And all I was using at the time was the Medicube skincare with the air shot because the air shot helps push all the ingredients even deeper. So if you have a good skincare line, I mean, you don't have to get the Medicube one, but it's a really good one. It will help you get the most results from your skincare line. But that one you have to keep in mind. The air shot is kind of like microneedling. It really depends on what are you using with the air shot. The air shot itself will help a little bit with the pores and will help uh, the collagen production because it goes deeper like microneedling, but it will not really address many things if you don't use it with a good product. So it's also important. And you use it after you apply the, the air shot. You can include any of your, you know, good serums and good skincare and get even better results from what you already have basically the same thing the microneedling but without the injury without the you know and i also noticed i didn't mention on that video but i still feel the results are here i have a scar right here if you guys can see this scar here which was from an acne that i had years ago i actually have a lot of acne in the past Hormonal acne, actually I started having acne in my 30s, like late 20s and 30s, which is so funny. I always had beautiful, perfect skin, no acne when I was in high school. All my friends were breaking out and I did not have anything until I hit my late 20s and early 30s. And then I became a teenager, like I had a puberty <laughs> and um, and I had really bad um, cystic acne. And this is what this one is. It was a bad cystic acne that... I was on a shoot. I used to work with cameras, doing camera work and, you know, videos and movies. And I was outside doing, actually doing camera work. And I scratched the 
my acne and it got inflamed and that night my whole side of my face got swollen i had to go to the emergency and they actually had to cut it because it became a um not a cyst it became a um I forgot the name of it. Sorry, my, my mind is blanking. Anyway, they had to physically cut it. So I have this scar. And even after it healed, uh, and by the way, things that you, when you have acne around your mouth, it's actually really dangerous. So don't poke it, don't scratch it. You know, when you have stuff around your mouth, even the doctor said it can cause a general inflammation. And that's what happened because this is something related close to your heart and major things. So yeah, that's a side note too. Do not scratch acne, especially around the mouth. Anyway, so this scar was always raised like whenever I did this I could feel like almost like a keloid scar and it's white so it never really you know the, I lost the melanin on this part and uh and it looks raised so when I was using the lip sh the dip shot I mean the air shot device just like microcurrent microneedling helps with scars it helped it too because I find that when I put my hand on it I don't feel the as big of a raise anymore like it's almost flush to the skin i mean you can still see the white which is the you know the scar but it helped with the texture of it and even though i'm not using it right now because i'm testing other things i feel like it really helped as if i was to use microneedling because microneedling is really good for you know pitted scars raised scars keloid scars to actually help the skin to recuperate and you know so that is really amazing i didn't mention them that video but i've noticed that even after using it so i wonder if i use more continuously if this would disappear so it's very powerful because it is kind of like microneedling but not uh as abrasive and also really depends on what you use with it so make sure you get good skincare to use with it so that way you can get the best results and uh hi Hi, Mammy, Louise, Anderson. I wonder if you already discussed the Maisama Gua Sha. Oh, yeah. That one I got sent, which I am excited to try too because I love Gua Sha. And I actually have a Gua Sha video that I did. I used to do a long time ago. Face massages are really good too. Um, and I have a Gua Sha video tutorial. If I remember, I'll put it in the description box below. But I'm excited. They, they sent to me. What the Maisama Gua Sha that she's talking about, I have to charge it, um, is that is a tool that has infrared light and also has a special special stone that helps firm in the skin and it's from my summer which is an amazing company that actually makes uh a serum that can help improve your results with rate uh sorry improve your results with led lights which i will do a whole dedicated video on it because um, they sent to me too but i want to start testing more so i can do the video for you guys but the the research be behind my summer is amazing they really have Third-party research, which is not their company doing the research, is a third-party research that really increases your results of LED lights. So I will talk about that, and I want to do a tutorial with that because I love face massages and gua sha, and I wanted to do, but then I had my eye injury, so I was waiting to clear it up. Now that I'm back, I'll definitely keep an eye on my channel for that. I want to do uh, that tutorial pretty soon because I love gua sha, and the my summer company is really great with all the research, and I love LED lights and massage. So I'll definitely do that one. Um, and probably do a tutorial on my video, so keep an eye on for that. The name of the device you spoke, it was Docera, oh, Ocera, Ocera from Medicube, Ocera, like U-S-S-E-R-A, um, Ocera, and uh, oh, guys, I hope I have it here. No, I can't. I'm actually moving uh, my studio. I'm moving <laughs> this whole thing, so I might start looking a little different. Um, I was supposed to move already, but since I, you know, got injured and all kinds of stuff, I'm kind of delayed. So my stuff is everywhere right now. So I will definitely have a video on it, but the spelling is U-S-S-E-R-A, Ocera, and it's from Medicube. I haven't tested yet, so I can't really speak from my personal experience, but I will charge it, start using it, and do my before and afters and show you my 30-day results and see which kind of results I can get in 30 days. But again, collagen really takes three months to build. But I should be able to see what it can do for me in 30 days and tell you guys from personal experience. But I saw amazing reviews on it. Like even on the Medicube site, they show their clinical trials and looks really amazing. So I will definitely have that coming up. So in 30 days, I'm going to use this month of March. So probably next month I'll have it. But it's, if you can check it out on the Medicube site as well. And if you guys are interested on any on any of the Medicube products, I do have a coupon code with them that you can save 
on top of any sale. So I'll leave that in the description box below if you guys want to check out the products from Medicube. And I love it. So far, everything I tried and I... Oh, I actually have it right here because I'm moving. I bought so many things for Medicube lately, which is a giant... Oh my God, I'm sorry. Maybe I can show you guys because I'm... Literally, oh my God, this, is, uh, this is a whole box of Medicube stuff. If you guys can see that I uh, bought. <laughs> that I'm a little bit obsessed with their products because they do work. And I love their Sika line as well. And I want to start using their vitamin C products. So I actually bought this myself. And they sent me uh, some collagen uh, with the Ocera, which I had already bought, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Now I have a bunch, but I'm going to use it. Uh, they sent me, this is what I bought, which I talk about it on the video that I was going to purchase this again. These are all repurchased. And this is a giant box. It was actually two boxes. Oh, yeah, the Masama is here too because I'm moving. But what is it? Is the Masama thing here? Anyway, I put some things here, but this is mostly Medicube. You can see I got the toner. I bought lots of the vitamin C. I love their Sika line. It's awesome. And, um, oh yeah, my favorite, which I ran out and I even have here, uh, Empty, which I talk about in the video. This is so, so unique. I bought another one of these as well, which is their Collagen Night Wrapping Cream, which I watched the video because that video... But I'm just showing this behind because I'm moving and I bought a few things. I mean, a lot of stuff from Medicube. So I did buy myself. They did send me some things, but I repurchased so many things from them. So I love their products. Honestly love them. And they work. And I bought so many things because my skin looks so good on that video. Watch that video because the one I talk about their skincare, I'm not using any makeup on that video. And my skin looks flawless. And I want to get back on it for sure and uh you know as i'm getting back into things so yeah so check out um and i'm gonna move and probably have a whole medicube area in my new office and uh continue using the products but i'm excited to use the sarah with their collagen line because again it helps stimulate collagen so they sent me somewhat more the college cream that i already had purchased but i ran out of this stuff because i actually did use it quite a lot and watch that video if you want to see more reviews on their other skincare because i haven't seen people talk too much about it but they're pretty affordable and they do work and the collagen wrap one is so unique and i show in the video it's kind of like a, a pill mask but you sleep with it so you put it on and you kind of look like a doll but it doesn't pull your skin at all and then it kind of helps to infuse more collagen in your skin and also helps your skin to wake up like baby skin. So in the morning, you can peel it off or you can wash it off. And my skin looks so good. Watch that video. I'm not using any makeup in the video. Whenever I watch that video, it's like, I need to get back on using Medicube. And that's why I bought so much of it. And I'm grateful they also sent me some, but I did buy a lot, a lot of stuff because I do love their products and, and they do work, you know, not sponsored. Truly, I love their products. So, um... So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted once I try the Ocera device, which you guys have been telling me to try for the longest time, and I would definitely keep you guys posted. I have bought the AirShot because of your video. I also use microneedling, but only use that once a month, both on or off the derma Dermadator. Oh, and the Ultimate Doctor Pen. I've heard about the Derminator. Um, I thought about getting a long time ago, but I, I've mentioned on, if you watch my AirShot video, I had some bad uh, reactions from microneedling and I heard about the doctor pen too so it's nice to have all of them so you can compare the thing about the air shot is that it is um you know cosmetic microneedling so it's not gonna be you know I don't know the Terminator uh, strength that you have but some of them you can actually get really really deep onto your skin and bleed and that really induces collagen production but I've I'm scared of trying that because even cosmetic microneedling when I did it I had a horrible reaction and my skin felt like burnt even the next day, even washing my face. So I don't feel that with the air shot, which is really cool. But as I mentioned, with the continued usage, I def definitely saw results that I probably would have gotten if I did actual physical microneedling, especially on my scar, which I want to go back on the air shot because I want to see if it, this disappears. But my skin texture on that video, also I'm not wearing any makeup in the video, and my pores, I mean, I, they are more pronounced now because i stopped using again whenever you stop using something you know you are going back to but i did still feel like i got some of the results still lingering but obviously you know as we age and it's been i don't know how long it's been since i've done that video i've been 
reviewing other things. So I stopped using it because I also want to check how the Ocera reacts with pores. But I definitely feel my pores are smaller than they were. But on that video, they're like flawless. So I love that device for pores because I have giant pores. And, um, and for the scar and for anti-aging. So I want to get back on the Air Shock, but I stopped mostly because I want to compare to how the other products that I'm using or the Sera, the next product I'm going to be testing for Medicube, helps with skin texture as well because I read that it does. So I would definitely put that to the test and let you guys know and keep you guys posted. So it was so nice to hang out with you all. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to comment below. And I'm going to head out now, but keep an eye on my channel for my next live. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that way you guys can get notified when I do my next live. And I'll be doing more lives, answering your questions, hanging out. And thank you for all your questions, all your amazing comments. I love you all so much. If this was helpful, make sure to like this video because it also helps my, the, my channel and helps YouTube to know so they can notify you when I post new videos. And that is really helpful too. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you're healthy and safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.